Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use MailChimp for email marketing or how to send emails tutorial. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we have to do here is just go to MailChimp.com and just log in into your account. Now once you've logged in, you should be able to see this dashboard here. So in this dashboard, you could basically just check it out. So in this case, we first want to go to automations here where right in, you can create your automations. So there's the overview section here, the all journeys, pre-built journeys, and transactional emails. Now we also have the audience section here, which in we could add our audience. Like for example, if you already have a list of contacts that you want to add into your account, because later on you'll be able to use that as the recipient of the emails that you'll be sending out. So in this case, if you want to add your recipients, just click on add your contacts. And from here you have options on how to add it so you have the option to import it from another service or upload it via a file so if you have a csv or a text file you can go ahead and upload that into the server for mailchimp here but we also have the option to cop basically copy and paste so directly paste it in new contacts form spreadsheet or similar list here now, in this case, if you want to proceed with either options or the three options here, go ahead and choose that. Click on continue and from here, you just need to follow the format as you can see right in here. Now, once you've added your contacts, we are now ready to go to the other section for MailChimp here. Now, in this case, we have the all contacts section as well sign up forms we also have the tags which is really great if you want to uh, basically add tags to your recipients if you want to add segments surveys and a lot more now a great thing with mailchimp here we also have the analytics section wherein you can just basically see a few details about your campaign or your emails so the performance, email comparisons. So this is just sample data that I'm showing you right now. So this is not actual uh, data that I have. But yeah, this is the sample data just to give you an idea on how MailChimp works. But yeah, you can go ahead and see all, all of the information here. Analytics, if you want to have, if you want to hire someone to do analytics for you, you could go ahead and do that. But this is where you see all of the details for that. Now we also have reports here, but if you want custom reports, you go ahead and go to custom reports as well. Now, since we don't have any campaigns yet, which is, uh, I'll be showing you how to create that. But for now, we want to go to website here, which in, if you already have a, a website here, or if you want to set up your website via MailChimp, you could do, go ahead and just click on set up your site, store, appointment settings. You also have contents here. So we also have the section for integration, wherein if you want to integrate other type of applications into MailChimp here, but if you only want that. So there's a quite a few you, you could use. So we have Canva, Vimeo, Shopify. So if you created a, a site previously with Shopify, you could go ahead and use that as well. Now in here, since we want to start sending our email, email into our uh, MailChimp account here, we first need to click on the create button at the top left of your screen. Now from here, we have three options. So we could try building one of these. So there's regular email, an automation, and a landing page. A regular email, use the email builder to launch a campaign in minutes. Automation, you will be able to set up email automations that personalize the marketing and save you time. Now we also have the landing page here, which is for creating landing page and let people sign up and receive product promotion or discounts. So if you want to set that up, but since we just want to basically send emails, let's just choose the regular email option here and just click on the sign email. Now from here, it's going to load up another page wherein you need to fill out the details here. So we have the section for two. So this is for the section who are you sending this email to? So in this case, let's just click on add recipient and same thing. If you haven't added your contacts by the previous uh, window that I shown you, wherein you need to ent enter your contacts, you also have to import contacts here and you also have the same options, three options that we did before, but yeah, choose any of the options here and you should be good. Now we also have the from section here. So this, who is sending this email? 
So go ahead and click on add form and you need to add your name here or the sender of this specific email. And we also have the email address section. So go ahead and enter the email address that you want to basically use and just click on save. And from here we have the subject. So what's the subject of this email? So just click on add subject. So in here, just enter any subject that you want to enter. But cool thing here is you could actually add emojis into your subject. So if you want to use emojis, you could use that. Now from here, just click on save. And we also have the send time now. So if you want to edit your send time, just click on uh, edit send time. And from here, you could either send it now or schedule a time. So if you want to schedule, uh, schedule it for another time, you could choose that and choose the date that you want to send this. But for now, let's just choose send now and just click on save. And from here, finally, what we need to do is we want to edit our content. So what is the content? This is basically the email itself. You'll be able to design it. Uh, just a few things like details and a lot of the other stuff there. So for now, let's just click on design email and you'll be redirected to this page here wherein you need to choose the template that you want to use. So they have a lot of templates here. They have bold, minimal, natural, survey, and a lot more. But the cool thing about the, this page here is you could actually start from scratch scratch if you want to do that so if you use start from scratch here you'll be able to basically design the email itself as you can see i have this section here that you'll be able to change so in here you can change this the image here yeah uh, you could also view this email in your browser but this is just a section where and if they receive this they can go ahead and just click on this specific link here now when you scroll down a bit you have this section here that you could edit as well and on the left side you could add logos social surveys apps products and a lot more now you could also change the styles for email text link buttons divider we also have the mobile version here if you want that as well so every time they view this via mobile it's that's going to be the format here also have the optimize so this helps improve the click rates uh, with the links or the tips that they'll be giving you here but yeah if you want to preview this just click on the preview button at the top right and as you can see they have the desktop a mobile inbox as well and once you're done you could go ahead and click on save and exit now I do have to warn you sometimes if you don't probably fill out the details on your card here, it's going to say content is not good. So the following details should be updated, like for example, to send your email. So some of the text here are uh, automatically generated. So they're going to suggest you to edit this out just to make sure that you are actually placing your content correctly since they'll, you'll usually send this to your clients or your contacts so you really want to be professional about this one so that's why they're giving you this option but yeah so once you've edited edited all of the details here and you corrected that it, you should be good now in this case if you want to test sending out your email just click on send a test email at the top right choose an email wherein you want to send this one and you'll be able to send us this email and see if the email that you just created it looks actually good and yeah you could go ahead and just edit it again if you want to like for example in this section here you could go ahead and click on resolve or edit again and you'll be able to edit this specific email or content but yeah so once you're good and all of the details and content here are good just click on send at the top right and you'll be you'll be able to send emails via mailchimp and that's about it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.